Hello beautiful, welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and I just wanted to show you the gratitude journal that I had shown you already for June, which is a small monthly format. The reason I made monthly is because I'm going to have a new picture every single month come out. These are from my personal photography collection, Pisces. Uh, some of my favorite shots, beauty. Um, this is the uh, the river near my house, um, near uh, dusk, I think is the way, when the sun was setting. The sun had was going to set, it was just behind the clouds here, but it was still beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful shadow. Um, just at the edge here, you would have seen the, the tip of my kayak, but uh, yeah, this is about a hundred feet from where my house used to be, where I grew up. Um, yes, we had waterfront property. Um, we weren't rich or anything. They actually got it for a steal. Um, just the view was really nice from where I lived. Let's just put it this way. I got this book as well. This is a 365 page. This is for a yearly. These would make a great gift while supporting my channel. Um, so the link is below in the description box in case you're in, uh, interested. I love the way these turned out and as I said the picture goes like straight across. So this is the full view of that beautiful photography and uh, I love to meditate on these as well. So I'm still waiting for the one that I did for May. I kind of did them in reverse because uh, May was almost done. Uh, but as soon as I get those, I'm going to verify the quality of them. This is why I'm telling you not to order the May one, even though you might see it. Uh, wait till I get one, and then um, you'll be able to see what it looks like on my channel, and then you'll know what you're getting, right? Right. So just want to make sure you get quality for your money. So there you go. Those are some beautiful ones. I love these. They're so pretty. I'm, I'm tickled. Definitely a vibrating higher sort of deal. Alright, so on, now that I'm finished gushing over uh, the gratitude and all that I love, um, we're going to talk today, Pisces, about going that extra mile and loving what you do to bring meaning to your life and then sharing it with others. I've spoken of this before. A blessing shared is a blessing doubled. It makes you rich in spirit. It makes your life meaningful and less of a chore. So I'm going to pull some cards. Let spirit talk here. Let spirit take over like I always do. Ah, <laughs> shadow. The moon. Right. There's always two different ways of seeing things or looking at things. The way they are or the illusion that they present. What they want to bring forward here is that sometimes we strive to be or do things that we think we want, but it's something we've been brought up with. It's an illusion. Example, let's say you uh, are brought up with somebody who has got a good job, a lawyer, a doctor, and in essence your parents want you to be a lawyer or a doctor. Now, I'm not saying a doctor doesn't help. They do. They help the world. They heal the world. I get that. But let's say for this example, we'll use a lawyer. Not that they don't help the world, but, you know. Um, let's just use lawyer or accountant. Doesn't matter. Apply whatever you want to this example. Some of you may be able to relate. So your parents want you to follow this, but because it's the only thing you've ever seen and you've never really questioned yourself if this brought you joy or if it's what you really wanted, you go after it. And you go after it with passion and gusto. But it's really an illusion. You see this? Passing on the torch. This is what came through. You're passing something on and it's a shadow of yourself. It's not your real self. A lot of people wait or figure this out years and years down the road and they go, what the heck am I doing here and why am I doing it? This is Spirit's message to you today. If you're going down this path, whether you're young, 
middle age old. It's never too late to figure out what you want to do, what you are passionate about in life. If you're feeling like your life is a bit of an illusion, you may be suffering from this. You may be suffering from just trying to follow a path that you thought everybody wanted you to be going down. Everybody wanted for you, Pisces. But is it really what you want? Or is it just an illusion? Are you deluding yourself? Do you really love what you do? Let's get more cards, Pisces. Right. Deception and envy. This really is talking about deceiving yourself. Sometimes we go after things because we're envious of other people. There's a story maybe of somebody who wants to be, let's say, a, what is it, a barista is what they call somebody who makes coffee at a coffee house. But because it doesn't pay as much as their friends who are lawyers or doctors, it creates an illusion or a, a feeling of being envious because what they do provides more for them to be able to do or have more of what they want. But this is a deception, Pisces, and it's created by the world. The world wants you to believe that certain professions are more fruitful or fulfilling than others simply because of the money and you know they're really convincing they're really convincing in the way that they bring things in so this is why we go into the shadow of the illusion of needing to be a certain profession or working in a certain profession because because we feel envious of others who have more and to follow our dreams would be uh, would impose some kind of sacrifice in your life these are challenges we have to surmount and it's all really in perception Take it one chunk at a time. You have foundation and achievements. And I was thinking of that. Maybe the job that you're doing right now isn't bringing you the happiness and the love of, of doing what you do. There are There is a way to transition from there to doing what you want to do without feeling envious and deceived because everybody else makes more than you and it provides more for them. It would be nice for the world to catch up with the way we think and what we do and what we want. Unfortunately, they're not there yet. So sometimes what we want to do does not pay as much as the things we don't want to do. So simple form there. The thing is, is if you're already doing something you don't particularly love but are good at, it is time to build a foundation, i.e. money, whatever you need, and really just maybe, um, do you need everything that you need? Or can you simply just save up so that you can have cushion in the bank to do what you really want to do in the future? I, I, I hope you're getting what I'm saying. In other words, uh, downsize the things you think you need and want. Do you really need and want everything? Is, let's say, being a lawyer and having a Ferrari important to you? Or is having enough money to follow your dreams what's important to you? That's, that's, that's the kind of example that I'm getting here. So if all the big things no longer mean anything to you, 
when you want to be either a barista or somebody who sells their fresh fruit and vegetables somewhere, somebody who works the land and wants to be of the land and wants to follow that passion, or you want to paint and sell them on Etsy. Um, make sure that before you do that, there are ways of doing it. You can build a foundation. Okay, this is the four of wands, so it's it's a stepping stone. Use this profession, whatever you are doing, as a stepping stone to doing what you want to do. So that you may live, regardless, you can live free to do the passions you want. Okay, there's always a choice, there's always a way. You can also do the stuff that you want on the side while you're still doing this. You can still hone in and connect to that passion while you are building the foundation and it and and the stockpile, let's say, of money if you're if we're continuing on with this example. Now I'm giving you a career change example, but this could be for anything. This could be for anything, Pisces, okay? Preparation is always, always important here. Okay. So, it's most certainly a mental conflict to be dealt with. Something that you have to balance. You may feel blocked and it may cause you standstills. And you're not trusting yourself because you're feeling that reality does really doesn't support you. Okay? And a lot of the times you may be sitting in the dark thinking, oh, I don't know what to do with this. Find a different solution. Such as I just did for this situation that I was talking about. The, this one that I was, that I used as an example. Use this as an example in your own life. Try to find ways and things to do to move yourself towards your passion. Can you give up all the excesses that this one brings and not be envious of other people who have them for your own personal brand of happiness and achievement? Are you willing to give up certain things to build a strong foundation to follow your passion? Are you deceiving yourself? Are you being envious of others? And maybe it's just because you think they're getting what they really want when you're not. So this is very important. It's, this is a difficult one to get through, Pisces. I feel, I feel yeah, they want me to take another card. I, I feel like this is a hard discussion to have. I was a person most of my life who wanted things that I thought I would never get. But I have to say that even though maybe I did finally leave my 9 to 5 in December of 2020, I had been thinking about this for a very, very long time. But there was a lot of work to be done. That's too many, you guys. Let's see here. Did a long, long time, a lot of work. It, was, it wasn't easy. It was never easy for me to leave. There were maybe like four years worth of, of trying to figure out what I would do, how I could make all of this happen. I got rid of all my debt. I paid off a lot of my mortgage before I even anticipating doing anything different. Right. So what came out here is dreams, 26, okay? And there's also the relationship card that came out. The relationship card for this is based in the root chakra. 
a lot of work is going to be need to be done within yourself to find that harmony and that peaceful place, that love for yourself. You're going to have to look at your relationships with others. You may lose relationships because if somebody's a lawyer and you're friends with a lawyer and suddenly you start plowing the land and decide to not be a lawyer, well, that friendship might not survive that change. You're going to have to be different somehow. You're going to be on different roads, and that's okay. They're not wrong. You're not wrong. Everybody's just good the way they are. I'm sorry for the pauses and everything. Still working through Mercury retrograde of my computer is just having fun. I'm just navigating through it like you are. I thank you for your patience, Pisces. Very, very much. And your dreams. I love this. 26. How important are your dreams? I'm going to read these from these cards right now. I'm going to take the uh, chakra reading cards and see what they have to say. They usually offer a lot of insight. This is a third eye chakra. Actually, I think I'm going to do the relationships ones first because it is the root chakra, and I feel it's it deals with something more from within. Okay. And this is the connect. Relationships are the way we connect to all things, not just people, and a relationship with yourself. I said that right your partner, your family, your friends, your pets, your creative projects, your home, your community. For things to grow and expand to be healthy, your relationships need to be fed, nurtured, okay? And you're going to have to see which bonds require some love and attention and the ones that are not so healthy for you at this time. And that's exactly what I was talking about. Sometimes you're going to have to release certain things, Pisces. That's just the way it is. You're going to change. It's going to affect your relationships. To go for what you love, there's a lot that needs to be done. Especially if your path has been completely in a different direction. Okay? This is a great opportunity for growth and connection. Okay? This is a relationship you can learn about yourself and others. And it's an important part of your life's journey. It teaches and mirrors many traits back to us but sometimes it's hard to accept when you're willing to see yourself honestly and work positively with your behavior there's a huge opportunity for growth the key is to accept love every aspect of yourself and set yourself free from judgment and limitations right there's an abundance of love and healing that comes with a solid fulfilling relationship Take time to nurture that relationship. Put in the energy to allow them to grow and expand into beautiful friendships or deeper communications. It's time to, to create a powerful, long-lasting relationship with yourself and be your best, your new best friend. I love this. And I, I did feel that it was a lot to do with yourself, okay? The blocks that you bring, they're yours. You have to find ways, innovative ways, to build new foundations and create new achievements for yourself. It's going. It may take a long time. It may be slow to get to where you go, or it may be very quick. You might just, that's it, I want to do that, and you drop everything. But there is going to be circumstances to anything that you do. Things will move, they'll ebb, they'll flow in different directions. Dreams. Your dreams are a big part of your journey. It's time to take a little more notice of your dreams. Your soul is guiding you and offering you messages through this medium. Okay, and that's your third eye. You may want to start a diary of your dreams, okay, and keep tracks of messages that you're receiving. It is easy for the soul to talk and communicate through our dreams because our minds experience less interference compared to our waking state. Okay? The answers you've been seeking, and maybe this is why you're at this reading today. Okay? This is me talking. Um, th maybe this is why you chose to listen to this one today. Um, the answers you've been seeking are showing themselves very clearly in your dreams. So take time to discover them. And 
this is where I'm waiting for this part. This card also represented dreams that you wish to create in your waking world, right? It's time to dream big. What would you love to create in your world? What are your dreams and desires? It's very beneficial to take some time to focus your energy on what you would like to manifest in your world. We're co-creators and with the universe and it is our birthright to manifest our dreams and desires. Know you're worthy to receive abundance from the universe and that it's time to weave your dreams into reality. Dreams do come true. You just have to believe you're deserving and open to receive the gifts when they appear in your life. Plant the seed of your dream into the soil of positivity. Oh, I love this one. Plant the seed, the seeds of your dreams in the soil of positivity. Nurture them with belief and water them with love. Soon your dreams will be showering your life with the most wonderful love and joy. Okay? So this is telling you that even though you think and this might be a perception as well. You may think that your dreams are not going to be abundance or prosperous. That may be a lie too, Pisces. Okay? Who's to say that as a barista you will gain beautiful insight and eventually get the opportunity to own your own business? Okay? So it goes on and on and moves forward, Pisces. It is never a clear-cut destination. But how will you know if you never start following what you want to do? So, i take one of these here. So Spirit really wanted to talk about some of you who are still putting up these barriers. Some of this is, might be a fear of you losing who loves you right now, who you feel you love, your current tribe, the people who are not, who are in the current situation that you are in. But you have to remember as well, and Spirit put this out for a reason, those you love, they love you. Okay? They won't disappear on you. I've been through many changes with my husband in the last four or five years, as I was talking about. I know I kind of veered off of that a little while ago, but I really went through a very long change in the last... I, I could even go back seven years if I wanted. I could go back ten years. And he is still very much part of my life. Communication is key, by the way. To be beautiful in the eyes of another, simply forget they're watching. Tally-ho. <laughs> I like these little messages in the back. They're beautiful. Um, from the message in the back, what I'm getting, though, is if you feel and are beautiful in your life, if you are making things happen to make you shine, how can you not be loved by those who love you? They want to see you happy. The universe wants to see you happy. It's always conspiring to get you to where you need to go. It's always working to make you go in the direction that you need to be going, Pisces. Right. Fulfillment of wishes. This is the cup. Wishes and blessings. It's even more than the Nine of Pentacles because wishes and blessing comes from inside of yourself. It's something that you're trying to make happen. It's something that you're trying to bring forward. And it's on a personal level. It eventually uh, flows and, and overflows out to a general level so that everybody around you feels it. But honestly, this is for you. This is wish fulfillment and contentment. This is your blessings, your abundance, your reward. Whether even if it does include money or does not, for some people money doesn't matter. They need very little to get along as long as they're doing what they love. If you're one who wants to feel more secure, deal with the root cause of it first of all. Deal with that relationship with yourself. Are your fears grounded? Are they real? And if they are, are you working towards something to 
make yourself feel safe while chasing your dreams. A lot of people nowadays, they do this. They save up and then they go after their dreams. Young, old, it doesn't matter. They've decided that it's worth more to them to do what they love to do, to bring meaning to their life. And you know, when you do that, you share it with others, you shine, you make yourself attractive to the rest of the world. And the beauty that you share with the world, it brings beauty to the world. It makes other people want to do the same. Have you ever visited or been to a place where somebody has followed their dream? Right? Solar plexus chakra. Beautiful. Three. Putting in the work. The middle part. For a lot of people, the solar plexus, I, and they're showing me this, for a long, long time when I first started my spiritual studies, the solar plexus chakra, that middle, that yellow light, was your soul light. For many, many years, that's what was told to me. That's where your soul is. It's right there, right in the middle. You know, right, right beside your heart. And I always thought to myself, wow, that's wonderful. My soul, I used to see it. I used to see a big yellow ball such as this in the middle of my soul. This is very important. This is where the beauty of you is, Pisces. This is where you have the very best of yourself, your power, your beauty, and your soul. The color is yellow. The sound is ram. The element is fire. And the keywords are I can. That's so important. The solar plexus chakra is located between the navel area just below the rib cage. It represents power, vitality, willpower, self esteem, and confidence. The energy center where your emotions and feelings are recorded. This chakra is associated with clairsentious inner feeling, which is the major psychic reception area. To balance the chakra, you may want to yoga, dance, move, breathe, work with color. In addition, be aware of people who drain your energy or situations, Pisces. Life decisions, okay? Work to focus on your own empowerment and will help you open and harmonize this area. So, true to yourself, Pisces, they really want you to focus on those area, on that area, to empower yourself. This has been your general. I'm going to do an extended later on, on this. Uh, I'm just going to add to it and see what else Spirit has to say. I hope you enjoyed this. Remember, Pisces, do what you love, okay? Because when you do it, you share your blessings with the world, you share your, your happiness, and it makes you rich in spirit. I'm sending you lots of love, light, and blessings. Take care, Pisces. I will see you later in the extended.